All right, so you're moving to the Atlanta area, but you don't know what to expect. In this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly what it's like to live in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Coming up right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to Living in Atlanta. This YouTube channel is all about helping you understand what it's like to live in the Atlanta area. My name is Mark Brenner. I'm a realtor here in Atlanta, Georgia. And if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you go back and check my old videos. I have been making videos for the last three years. There are neighborhood tours, there are home tours, every topic you can think of, I've probably made a video on it, so make sure you check out the old videos. All right, so today we're covering the basics. What is it like to live in the Atlanta, Georgia area? Maybe you're moving here because work is relocating you. Maybe you have family here that you're moving to be close to. Whatever the reason, if you're not familiar with the area, it can be pretty daunting to pack up your life and move here when you don't know what to expect. So in today's video, I'm gonna cover the fundamentals. We're gonna talk about weather. We're gonna talk about cost of living, things to do, places you should look to live, and the overall vibe of what it's like to live in different areas. So let's get right into what it's like to live in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Hey, real quick, if you are planning to buy a home anywhere in the Atlanta, Georgia area, or if you already live here and you're looking to sell, the Living in Atlanta team is a full service real estate team. We are locals, we know the area better than anyone, so we would love to hear from you. You can book a Zoom call with us using the link in the description in my my video. You can call me, text me, whatever you want to do. All the information's there. We love to hear from our viewers, so don't hesitate to reach out today. All right, so what is it like to live in the Atlanta, Georgia area? Now, I have been here 15 years. I was not born and raised here. I am a transplant, but I've been here longer than most transplants. I'm originally from New York, and so it was a big culture shock when I first moved here. And to be honest with you, I kind of hated it. It was extremely different from the Northeast, from the types of people to the types of food to the weather, and it was a huge shock. And that might be the case for some of you who are coming from another state across the country. The good news is, after living here for a few years, I can say truthfully, I absolutely love living in the South. I love living in Atlanta. So let's talk about some of the basics of what you can expect if you move here. All right, so first up, let's cover weather. Now, the good news is, this is one of the best parts of living in the Atlanta area. In my opinion, the climate is about as close to perfect as you can get. The reason I say that is because, number one, we have four distinct seasons here, okay? It's not Southern California where it's one way the whole year. We have all four seasons, but it's all pretty mild. Outside of a prolonged hot and humid summer, we have a very short, kind of cold, rainy winter, and the spring and fall are absolutely gorgeous. It's my favorite time of the year. We have tons of sunshine, and we really don't have any natural disasters that you have to worry about, other than some occasional flooding. So if you're coming from the Northeast or the Midwest and you're worried about the winters, don't worry, there'll be a joke to you, okay? It only lasts for a couple months, it flurries maybe once a year, and just generally it's a little cold and it's wet and rainy and it's over really quick but we don't get much snowfall and the temperatures don't even drop below freezing that frequently throughout the winter now yes the summer in late july and august it does get very humid but a lot of people like it hot and there's a ton of sunshine here so overall i think we kind of have the best of all worlds when it comes to weather let's talk about cost of living now atlanta has gotten more expensive over the last few years but relatively speaking compared to metros of a similar size, the cost of living is still relatively low. So let's speak in some generalities. Of course, this is going to depend on exactly the area we're talking about and the size and finishes of the home that you're looking at. But I will say the median home sales price in Atlanta is $400,000. If you're looking to purchase a home inside of the perimeter, the perimeter is created by I-285. You can see it on the map. It's what we consider in town. If you're looking to be in town, you probably need a starting budget of about $350,000. And of course, that can go well up into the million, multi-million dollar range, depending on the area. Now, let's say you're a family. You've got kids and the public schools are really important to you. Well, assuming you need a decently sized home in an area where the public schools are typically rated very high, 
I'm gonna say you're gonna need a budget of at least $375,000. Really, four to $500,000 will probably be the sweet spot just for a move-in ready home. Not necessarily, you know, extremely updated, but that is going to be the range in areas where the public schools tend to be good, of course. It can go as high as you want it to go, right? If you need a big mansion in Alpharetta, you're gonna be paying multiple millions of dollars, and a lot of people do that. But that's just to give you a very broad sense of what kind of budget you're gonna need. Now, if you're willing to be much further away from the city, particularly if you're willing to go south of the city, your dollar's gonna go much further. That's when we're talking about getting a nice livable home in the low to mid $300,000 range. So of course, if you don't mind a more rural setting, a more suburban setting, then your dollar will go further if you don't need to be so close to Atlanta. Now, maybe you're renting. Let's talk about rent in and around the Atlanta area. So this can get really low, right? If you're looking to just rent a literal one room of a house, you can spend as little as $600 in Roomster. I would say if you're looking for a studio or one bed place, you're gonna be starting around $1,100 a month. The good news is you can do that in a nice area like Midtown or Buckhead. I would say average rent for most people is gonna be around $1,700 a month. And if again, you're a family, you're looking to rent an entire single family detached home in an area that's safe with good public schools, typically your budget is gonna be between two and $3,000 a month. Of course, again, that can go as high as you want it to go, depending on the area that you wanna be in and the size and finish of the home. All right, let's talk about things to do. Now, Atlanta is a big city, right? And so it's gonna have all the typical things that you would find in a city of a similar size. There's gonna be all the restaurants you could want, all the bars, the nightlife, in particular in Atlanta, the strip clubs, if that's your thing. It's gonna have all the typical city things to do. Now, we are a city in the forest, and one of my favorite things about living here is just just all the nature related activities in and around the Atlanta area, right? There's trees everywhere. We have so many public green spaces and parks for you to enjoy. So a lot of outdoor activities. If you like kayaking or canoeing, we've got a bunch of amazing rivers around Atlanta. If you like hiking, there's plenty of places to do that camping, anything outdoors related, we have got you covered. This is a wonderful place to live for outdoors enthusiasts and continuing in the theme of being outdoors, Atlanta has a lot of very big and popular festivals throughout the year, whether it's Pride Fest or Dragon Con or Music Midtown. There are so many festivals around Atlanta. So if you're a festival goer, this is gonna be a great spot for you. So all the typical city stuff that you would want in a city, a ton of great outdoor related activities and a lot of high quality very popular festivals in terms of things to do all right let's talk about traffic and density right you've probably heard stories of how awful Atlanta traffic is and it's pretty bad right our infrastructure hasn't really grown with how the population has grown so far so we are a very sprawled out city we are not dense okay this is not New York City you can't walk around all over the city right there are little pockets Pockets that are dense and walkable, little downtown areas, little walkable streets, but they're not typically connected, right? They're not even typically connected by public transit. So the reality is living in Atlanta, you definitely need to own a car. We do have some public transportation. We have MARTA. There's plenty of buses. There's some heavy rail, but it's not very robust. You're going to be in your car a lot and the traffic can get crazy. I mean, I would honestly say rush hour often starts at 3.30 and ends around 7.30 or even 8 o'clock. So it can be crazy. And honestly, the drivers are pretty aggressive down here and there's always debris on the road. So driving is not a great experience in Atlanta. I can't really sugarcoat it for you. I will say when you're here long enough, you find your spots, right? You find your back roads, you find the right time to go to a certain place and when to just absolutely stay put. So it's definitely avoidable in some circumstances, but also oftentimes it's completely unavoidable. You're going to get stuck in traffic from time to time. So just be prepared. It's just what it's like to live in Atlanta. All right. How about diversity? Okay. A lot of clients that I work with 
come from different backgrounds and they're really concerned with feeling accepted for who they are wherever they live. This is the deep south, there's some stereotypes of course, so you may be concerned about just feeling accepted. Here's what I'll say, recognizing I'm speaking in generalities and unfortunately, you know, bad things can happen literally anywhere. But, you know, Atlanta is a big city, so it's fairly progressive. I don't really see any group of people consistently dealing with uh, any kind of discrimination within an hour, hour and a half of the city, okay? Now, once you get further than that, you get into the deep country, I don't know, okay? Uh, I won't really speak on it. I am not saying that you will experience something bad if you go further enough away from the city. All I'm saying is you don't need to feel like you're living in some movie scene from the deep south if you're 30 minutes from Atlanta, okay? There's plenty of diverse groups. If you're wondering about the, the makeup in terms of diversity, pretty much half black and half white, a slight majority to black people in the city of Atlanta. We have, I think, about 12% uh, Asian population and a 6 to 8% uh, Latin American population. Okay, so those are the, the major groups. We definitely don't have the range and diversity of a New York City. It is not a melting pot like New York City, okay? Very few places are, but that is the diversity in Atlanta. So don't worry too much about the really awful stereotypes. I think in most areas in and around Atlanta, you should feel accepted and hopefully there'll be some people that look like yourself and your family. All right, let's talk about schools. Of course, this is a big one for folks who are moving here with kids. The quality of the public schools is super important. Now, as a realtor, I can't tell you if a school is good or a school is bad. What I can do is give you my best resource for making your own determination, okay? And I'm gonna put it up here on the screen so that you can save it and you can look up schools as you look at real estate listings, okay? It is schoolgrades.georgia.gov, okay? And this is not a third-party aggregator website. This is a state website that gives Georgia schools a grade based on certain criteria. I like this resource way more than a niche.com or a great schools because you get all these different answers from all these third-party websites, and how do you know which one that you can really trust? So personally, I would go with the one that is actually a state website. I think there'll be a little less bias there, but I will say, generally speaking, many of the schools that receive higher rankings are, for whatever reason, situated on the north side of Atlanta. So areas like Forsyth County and Cobb County and Cherokee County. And that's a big reason why these areas tend to be more expensive. So that's just a little bit of resource and information to help you make the decision about where the good public schools are. All right, let's talk about vibe, right? Major American cities tend to have a vibe, whether it's, uh, you know, a Seattle or a New Orleans or New York, like they all kind of have a distinct culture and vibe. So I'll try try to describe it for you in Atlanta. So first of all, uh, very entrepreneurial spirit in Atlanta. A lot of people who are either famous or famous in their own minds, a lot of legit entrepreneurs, uh, successful in their own businesses. I really think it's a city that fosters entrepreneurship and business ownership. We're also a city with deep roots within the civil rights movement, right? Martin Luther King, John Lewis, so many others, okay? So that's really a part of the fabric and history of Atlanta, the civil rights movement. And of course, music is a huge part of the culture here in Atlanta, uh, particularly hip hop, but especially recently, many of the major music acts are from Atlanta. So, you know, you're going to be driving through Atlanta and people are going to be blasting their music through the stereo. Uh, it's a city that really cherishes music and fosters music and creativity. And the last thing I'll say about a vibe is, although it is like a major metro, it's a, it is a bigger city. To me, personally, it doesn't have a huge city feel. To me, it's a very manageable city. Maybe that has something to do with how spread out we are, but it, you know, if you're worried you're going to feel intimidated by, maybe you're coming from a smaller city. I tell you what, it is going to get huge. It's on the trajectory to get huge and intimidating and big, but uh, for me, at least coming from New York, this is a very manageable city, both in terms of how you get around, uh, how you manage your career, the connections you make. So uh, it's a manageable city. So that's a little bit about the vibe in Atlanta. Let's finally talk about the pros and cons of living in Atlanta. So I've done full length pros and cons videos. I'm just going to touch on three of each real quick. Again, because we're trying to teach you the basics of what it's like to live in Atlanta. We'll start off with cons so that we can end on a positive note. You know, the con number one of living in Atlanta is definitely the traffic. I touched on it before. 
everyone needs to own a car and because of that there's a lot of traffic and there's a lot of aggressive drivers and debris on the road pro number one again i would say weather beautiful mild climate four distinct seasons so much sunshine uh, not an extreme winter an absolutely perfect spring and fall con number two i would say allergies and bugs if you suffer from pollen allergies unfortunately atlanta is going to be a rough living experience for you you're going to need to be taking claret in every day the allergies can really get bad down here and in terms of bugs i don't know about you but mosquitoes absolutely love me and in the summertime i am covered in bug spray so we do have bugs we have mosquitoes and cockroaches. They're very prevalent down here, no matter how clean your home is. So you're gonna wanna treat your yard, treat your home, and wear bug spray, but they are very prevalent. Pro number two, I have green spaces. We're a city in a forest. Uh, more so than most major American cities, there's trees everywhere. It's one of my favorite parts of living here. It makes for a fantastic, beautiful atmosphere, even when you're in the heart of the city. So trees, green spaces, so many parks, so many outdoor activities. It's one of the best parts of living down here. Con number three, final con for me personally is just guns are very prevalent down here, okay? You don't even need to have a permit to own a gun now and uh, you know, Gun culture is pretty big. Now, this is very different for me growing up in New York. I didn't know anyone who owned a gun. And so it's a bit of a culture shock. You see people open carrying, you know, you see stories in the news of shootings. For me, it's probably my least favorite part of living in Atlanta. And finally, pro number three, I have opportunity. Listen, Atlanta is growing faster than so many other cities. If you're looking to start a career here or continue your career at a new company, this is a great place to do it. We have, you know, like 27 companies in the Fortune 1000, 18 of those are in the Fortune 500, and we have an extremely diverse economy, right? We're not dependent on banking. Uh, we're not dependent on shipping. We have that, but we also have medical, TV and film, financial. We have a very diverse array of industries here. So there's a ton of opportunity here, which you should be very excited about. All right, so there you have it. I went through it really quick. All the basics, just the fundamental stuff that you need to know about what it's like to live in the Atlanta area. If you're not familiar with the area, I really hope that helped. I hope it gave you some solid footing for you know your next adventure. If you are moving down here, if you're gonna be here temporarily, Really hope that gave you an insight into what your experience is going to be like. Again, I hated it at first. I can honestly say now, I really do love living in Atlanta. The pros far outweigh the cons for me. So I hope that gets you excited about coming down here. If you need help with anything real estate related, listen. That's why I make these videos. So if you like the content you're seeing, if I seem like a person that you would enjoy working with, please do give me a call. I have a lot of experience specifically with helping people relocate here from out of state, and I would love to hear from you. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time.